Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to convert decimals into the lowest common denominator of fractions. Now, it really depends on the decimal when you convert into fractions, and after you convert the decimal into fractions, you may or may not be able to reduce afterwards. It all depends on what the decimal actually is and what the fraction is afterwards. So, for example, if you have 0 0.6, 0 0.6 can be read as 6 tenths. So, 6 tenths is a fraction that you can write after looking at it. So 6 tenths, now what you have to think about is, is 6 tenths reducible? Now 6 tenths is, looks like they both have a factor of 2, so you divide both the top and bottom by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 6 tenths is really 3 fifths as a fraction in lowest common denominator form. Now, if you have 0 0.49, the way that's read is 49 hundredths. So 49 hundredths is written as it sounds, 49 over 100. Now even though 49 and 100 each have factors, they don't actually have any common factors. So 49 over 100 is actually a fraction already in reduced form. So depending on what kind of decimals that you have, once you convert a decimal to a fraction, it may or may not be reducible. You just have to look at each fraction individually. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that's how to convert decimals into the lowest common denominator of fractions.